High speed on Imperial and Imperial Highway. I'll tell you what, at least it is wide open. It parallels the 105 on the north side of the 105 freeway here through South Los Angeles. Then he will enter the community of Linwood. LA County Sheriff's deputies uh, pursuing uh, this suspect. Wow, across losing control. He lost control there. Let's see what he tries to do. His car is smoking clearly. It does not look drivable. This is a dangerous situation. We'll see if he does put his hands out. We're going to widen out here. LA County Sheriff's deputy. This is a really intense part. The, the officers, the, the sheriff's deputies are telling him clearly to put uh, his or her hands outside. And we will see if it's just the one suspect in here. Tinted windows, dangerous situation. This is where very clear instructions will be given. Once again, this is on Imperial Highway, just north of the 105 freeway in the Willowbrook area here. So let's see what happens. Now his hands aren't, okay. The hands of that suspect needs to be visible. I, I, I can't tell, at least maybe you have a better monitor. I'm not sure if it's a, a male or female, but uh, it looked like it possibly was, uh, was a female driving the, the car here. We'll see, opening up uh, the door, guns drawn, Imperial Highway shut down. Uh, it does look like it's, a, it's actually a male here, stepping out, hands shown. Let's see what he does. He's gotta lift those hands up, put those hands high and turn around. That's what they're telling him right now. He, they do not want him to face the officer. They're gonna tell him to walk backwards towards the officer. They're giving clear instructions here. These guys are trained. And this is a good point to watch this lease that when we see what we've seen with police incidents across the country, this is how the LA County Sheriff's deputies uh, do it. They, they give clear instructions here. If the suspect uh, abides, which uh, he is, he's down on his knees here. It looks like uh, they're, they're very well, they're very well could be. Again, very tinted, dark tinted windows, so they're going to check the trunk. They're going to go around to the passenger side. Yeah, and it looks like a female officer. So that is, a, I think, is that a female lease? Can you tell? We'll push in. I know he or she has a ponytail. And, and, and I did see a female officer uh, pat the suspect down. And typically what happens is a female officer will do that if it is uh, a female suspect. Let's widen out and make sure that we're, we clear the car, Pat. We'll widen out. Car is clear. Code four. Yep. It's a female. And that's why, we, that's why two female deputies... Uh, uh, checked uh, to make sure that uh, this individual, this woman, was not uh, carrying any type of weapon. Wow, what a pursuit that was. I just hope, because we got on this about halfway through the pursuit, but you saw the damage to the car. You saw how erratic this driver was, this woman was driving. No, it was it was quite wild, especially through that park, through the uh, Irwin Magic Johnson uh, County uh, Park there, up on the trails, the path. Thankfully, there was not a lot of foot traffic. A lot of people like to walk around the lake there, but it was pretty much empty uh, on this Thursday morning. And again, uh, Thursday afternoon, I should say. And again, we did not see anybody. We saw a lot of close calls. You saw those pedestrians get very close to being struck by this female uh, driver. Again, we don't know specifically why she was lit up. All we heard was failure to yield. So maybe she was just driving erratically initially. They lit her up, she didn't pull over, and uh, the pursuit was on. Just her uh, inside the car. Uh, we're, we're, we're right on uh, the border of Linwood and South Los Angeles here on Imperial Highway, just north of the 105 freeway here.